University of Chicago Public Policy Podcast. Hi, UC3P listeners. Today's episode takes us down to Pachuca, Hidalgo, Mexico, where recent Harris graduate Lucia Delgado Sanchez interviewed Benjamin Ruiz, or Benja. His current project is called Ben Ru. Benja is a multi instrumentalist and composer, and you'll get a chance to hear many of his original songs. He even plays some of his songs for us live. Lucia interviewed Benja last year, and we're really excited that this interview is seeing the light of day. There's a lot of background noise at the top of the interview, but stick around for a few minutes and it'll subside. We have some announcements for you after the episode, but before we get there, please remember to support these podcasters by subscribing to UC3P. And if you really enjoyed this episode, go on Apple Podcasts and rate us five stars. We really appreciate your listenership. Now, on to the episode. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Hello. Hi, how are you? (laughs) Good. Um, Okay, so this is Benja. Uh, We are in Pachuca, in Mexico, Mm -hmm. at his house. He's a musician. Mm -hmm. He has a project called Venru. Yes. And... And this is the phone ringing. (laughs) So, Benja is back. Yes. Okay, so can you tell us how uh, the project Venru started? Uh, I I used to work in a band. We were a rock band from Pachuca. When the band broke up, I felt I needed to go on and make more music. But uh, with this band, we experimented with computers. So instead of being like a normal rock band, we also had like electronic elements. And then when the band broke up, uh, uh, yeah, I I started making uh, my own songs. And with time and with a little bit of work, uh, you start getting better. So then I decided to have like my own name and my and uploading songs. And uh, I play uh, my songs uh, with the computer, basically. So um, I, I guess that you have been doing songs like for a long time, even before Benru started. Mm-hmm. But uh, when did you start like doing songs specific for this project? As you mentioned, I I used to make songs before having this project, but they were only ideas, and I had like this thing for making ideas and not completing them. I I, I only make ideas and then I never <laughs> complete them. That's what I used to do, but then it got to a point where you say like I, that's that's not being a musician, you know, like you have to complete the idea from start to end. Professionally speaking, like two years or three years ago. But, well, before that I made songs with the band and we we all participated in the creative process. But it's a bit different because it's, sim- it's easier. I mean, you have like, a, it's like a democracy. Mm-hmm. So you have one idea and the other guy messes up with the idea and then the other guy adds a little bit to the idea and so it's easier because you've got more minds helping you with the process it's a bit more difficult when you're on your own yeah but three years ago (laughs) okay um what is your goal with this project do you have like a idea on what type of music you want to make or for what purpose Uh, i like electronic music because of the textures and the feelings that you get when you hear this yeah textures you can make with electronic stuff but i also would like to give a nice emotions to people that's what i've been thinking about recently i do i i don't want to only uh, push buttons and make a a party going because the music i make well uh, my genre is not defined yet but it's like for the club so it's for making people to dance you know but that's not my real purpose i guess i want to make music that can say something emotionally and if and then make you dance you know but also make you think because it's emotional and it's 
Uh, it's not only to dance. So yeah, I would like to transmit emotions, whether it's joy, uh, sadness, anger, uh, whatever. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that's like my my ultimate goal, and I I also like the idea of being a little bit raw with things. This means that uh, when you start getting good at what you do, you start lose you start losing that innocence. So you get like really perfect. But to me, that's not real because we're not perfect. So, for example, the other day I was watching a video about uh, Moderat. They are from Ber well, techno electronic band from Berlin or whatever. But these guys are so perfect that it's boring. Their songs are so perfect and they're so perfectly performed that they're not the bands I used to admire many years ago. So my point is to, to give emotions to people and make it uh, electronically speaking, but also try to do it in a way that it's human and dirty and real and uh, me making mistakes live, not pressing buttons all the time and having some errors, sweating, crying... I see. And um, like, how is your process on achieving that? Like, how are you mixing this uh, electronic style that is hard to make mistakes in because mm -hmm. it's somehow pre-made? Yeah. And um, something that's more spontaneous. I When I play live, I take my computer and that's my instrument. But in the future, I would like to take a, like something more organic like the, like a keyboard I have or even in the future I, I dream of having like a piano so I would like to take real stuff on stage mixed or blend with the computer that's how I will I will give it like more like a human touch a human feel and besides there's there's something about humans that we get imp not imp not impressed but we 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 interact more with with, the, with an artist when we're watching what they're doing. When we don't see what they do and we just think they press a button, you can have a nice day or a nice experience or whatever, but you don't get that related to the artist. Yeah. And how do you think that works? Like, I mean, you give the music to the audience, but then how you get the answer back, like when it's live and you're... Mm -hmm. changing things in that moment it, it doesn't mean you you won't take pre-made songs you 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 can you work at home you make your songs but the thing is playing them live you have to make it different and somehow spontaneous uh, how you see people and how you see how they uh, react that's where you get the energy yeah it seems complicated because you are concentrated in making the music but also in like looking at the people so it's yeah. it's not only making music it's yeah it's, it's, it's being in a conversation somehow yeah and it's difficult and you also have to be like a performer sometimes as a musician uh, the easy thing is like to make music because you are like in a safe ground and you can do anything you want uh, whenever you want uh, at any time but being a performer you you've got to have different skills So right now I'm not like, I don't consider myself like the best performer ever, but I, I, have, to, I have to work on that. Yeah, it's good. Can you tell us about the process of making a song? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, first, uh, making a song is like making a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to, um, yeah, you start with an instrument. It can be the keyboard. It can be the guitar, uh, and then when you have like a nice, uh, a nice idea, a melodic or an harmonic idea going on, you can add uh, drums, and then you can add uh, vocals, and you can add different percussion and different things. But the thing is, you have to have a a, a really really nice uh, idea first. You have to detect which ideas are are good and which aren't that good. Because otherwise you waste or lose time. Yeah. So once you detect an idea... Mm -hmm. You have to like capture it. That's why you have to record it. Because sometimes you even forget them. <laughs> so it's like a melody? 
Yeah, yeah, you can start. Some people start with a melody. Some people start with rhythm. Some people start with harmony. Harmony are like um, like chords. So, for example, you, uh, nice chords progressions. You you can make things like, um, for example, you. This is a chord progression, right? Like this, and then something like this. If you like this, you can loop it like throughout time and you go again. That's the harmony. Sometimes I work like that and or sometimes it's different. I want to make a melody instead of a of a basic chord progression. So a melody would be like uh within the same chords or something like this. This is a basic melody. And then you can add the harmony, like the chords. Something like this. And then you add like, <laughs> yeah, rhythm or whatever, kicks, percussions. And, and then you, um, uh, with inside the computer you tweak them so it's even better but some people start with rhythms so you you create like a rhythm it can be any rhythm like a, a like a basic disco rhythm or something more rock dubstep reggaeton reggae bossa nova whatever and then based on that rhythm you start the song As China's role grows greater on the global stage, you want to stay up to date on the issues most pressing to China both domestically and internationally. Check out the Just China podcast for in-depth analysis on recent headlines and investigative reports on Chinese matters that affect our globalized world. We are Just China. Find us on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you enjoy your podcast listening. Okay, and when you think about like transmitting an emotion, mm -hmm. like when you are making the song, do you just uh, like let the emotion, a certain emotion in you, like flow into the song, or do you think like if when someone listens to this song, they might feel this way, so I will make it like this, so they get to feel that, mm -hmm. like yeah, I, what's I, the role of emotions? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't used to do that. Bef well, before I, I just like played things I like, but now I try to think that way. Sometimes I even close my eyes and try to, <laughs> to sing things or to, to see where the the music can take you. But based on a feeling, you don't think, will people like this and how will they react? You think first like what you want to transmit and that's it. If they get it or not, it's okay. But then, I don't know, it's a bit strange because, um, like, what if people get something else? If people get something else? Well, that's a good question. Maybe they just get something else and they still get something. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, but but maybe that's a, that's a good point because maybe you're doing your job wrong. Because if you're a musician and you know what you're doing, maybe you're supposed to to know how to make people feel. I yeah. guess it's like, which is your goal? Like, if your goal is to let something out from you, or if your yeah. goal is to make people feel something. Yeah, to feel... Th yeah. Those might be two different goals that, I don't know, you may have in different songs. Yeah, and the, the goal is, uh, uh, talking about people, like, the goal is... Not to make them numb, you know. Like when when a so when someone grabs your attention, it's because they're doing something different. 
that's my case when I go to a concert I, I like bands that like change something or